your girl, Caramel Goddess. I'm back. Today is Friday. It is 4.09 p.m. My shift is about to end at 5 p.m. This is my friend, Sai. But yeah, um, this is like, what is this? Like our third week? Is this our Have third week? Month? We haven't had a it's month. It's like a month. month. It has been a month. Well, we've been here for like a month. Tyler, okay, thank you. 
But anyway, that was the only, I guess, weird experience I had. And then it says, do people be tipping y'all good? Yes, people do tip good. It's just really about like, have good customer service, you know? Have good customer service and do your job. Don't come to somebody with an attitude. If you just had a, a bad day, don't don't give them an attitude. You better fake it till you make it because you don't know who you're talking to. You don't know how their day has been. And just for a little kindness, they may tip you well. Because um, all of my tips I did together one night. No, it was morning actually. I made a hundred and seventy-five dollars. Like, and that's good. Like morning money. And so, but I know girls and my friends and stuff, like in the afternoon, if they be making like three, four hundred dollars. So, yeah, but I don't like working in the afternoons, so that's that. But get your money. And then it says, how are the tips? So, like I said, the tips are good. You know, it just really depends on you and really the customer too. Because, you know, some people like, they'll buy hundreds. So I've seen tabs, eight hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars, and they only took you three dollars. And you don't matter. You could be doing hundred percent A one customer service. It don't matter. If they feel like tipping you three dollars. They gonna tip you three dollars. So yeah, tips are good though. And like I said, you know, just try to get a lot of tables and get the tips in, save your money, and it really starts adding up. Because like I said, there's girls who make two, three hundred dollars, five hundred dollars in tips. And um, the next question is, can you wear, can you work there with braids? I mean, I got braids, so yeah, you can work here with braids. But yeah, they're not tripping about braids. They um, updated their uh, policy, like the hair policies. So yes, you can wear braids, box braids, you can do all that. And then my last question that I had, are the uniforms comfortable? I mean, they're two pieces. You're gonna have this showing. I'm a little chubby, so it'd be a little um, uncomfortable at times, but you'll be fine. It's cute. I mean, it's gonna show those with some cooters. You really go two piece pieces. So, Hey y'all, so I got some bad news. So I got pulled to the side by my manager, right? And my manager told me basically a corporate lady was here and that, and that basically like, this corporate woman, this corporate woman has went and made a statement about me and supposedly other females. I guess just to make me feel better to say other females, but that I'm out of shape. That's weird. Like for their standards of what a bombshell girl is supposed to look like. And they told me if I don't lose weight in a month, basically that's my ass. And I, oh, my job is gone. So. Dang. That's tough. But. It is what it is. I mean. I wanted to lose weight anyway. You know. Because I gained weight from birth control. But it's just kind of like. That's really foul. And it's not okay. And for a person who is like. Highly insecure. That is just really body shaming and it's just awful and no one should be told that but there's a con right there y'all think it's a game it's really not just come here and look cute like they will shame the shit out of you so you see i got really got pulled over by the manager she pulled me to the bed to tell me that shit